Now that has to be one of the smoothest, coolest things I've seen in a long time. I've always wanted to be able to do one of those flips. Never thought about landing in a set slide though. That's absolutely insane. But anyway, what up? It's Brandon here and welcome back to Blader News, your number one rollerblading news source. Once again, brought to you by Sweet Moves, the Wellington, New Zealand based moving company that's rollerblader owned and run. Hit the link in the description to get a quote today. But anyway, we're going to be doing things a little bit differently today in honor of the first thing I want to talk about. We're going to be skipping straight to everybody's favorite part of the show, product news. So the first thing I want to talk about today is Bladed Union and This Week in Blade. This Week in Blade now has official merch and it is so far. First off, they have a brand new t-shirt which has a pocket on the front and print on the back. It's absolutely sick, designed by Stefan Brando who is the man who is also on Bladed Union. The shirt is made by Bella Canvas and they make really smooth, comfortable shirts. So without even touching it, I can tell you, it'll be a really great shirt for skating in. Not only that, but they're also a very eco-friendly company, which is a really cool thing as well. That's not it though. They also came out with these pins that you can buy. And there's also an exclusive gold version of the pin that you get if you ever do it for the twip. They'll send you one, which is so sick. And I really love that idea. But I have to say the coolest part of this announcement is the fact that there is now some twib wheels. They are 60 millimeter, 92A, built for street, solid wheel. These wheels are made by Red Eye, they're the third wave of the urethane, so they've been really tried and tested and really perfected. The whole Blade of Union squad tested them as well. They put together a nice little promo edit, I'll link it in the corner, it's so sick. Biz starts it off so strong, I really love it. This whole announcement is so cool, I'm glad Biz is getting his own set of wheels, that is unreal and I'm so jealous but it is so well deserved. This stuff is not easy, I'm glad he's getting something for it. Blade Union is just amazing too, so that's a great thing to support. You should definitely go check those out, they'll be linked in the description. And while you're buying those wheels and that merch, you might as well go over to Lace and buy the official Blade News mug as well. Spread the love, you know. But anyway, that's it for that story. Congrats Biz and Blade Union, this is amazing. It's a cool time in rollerblading. If you're looking for some new rollerblading clothing, Stay Rolling Co. has got you covered with a sick new drop. First up, they got this really cool hat here. They've also got some pants that are styled up to Dickies pants. But the thing I like the most about this drop is this shirt. It is so sick. I really love the aesthetic on the back, you know. The whole drop is just so sick, so you should definitely go check that out. We've got a new set of wheels from Undercover, which is absolutely insane because they just had that massive cosmic drop. And now they're following it up with a TV series which features a bunch of knockoff TV shows designs, which is really cool. It's four new wheels, they all range different sizes and hardness and profiles, so you should definitely check them out yourself. I'll link to Roller Warehouse, they've got them all up on there. There's a sick Ninja Turtle one, there's a Naruto one, there's even a News one. They're all really sick, you should go check them out. We've got a new version of the Solar Frame, which is so cool. It's a Hilo Rocker Pro Frame for Joe Ackerson. Right, 64 millimeter wheels on the outside and 60s on the inside has a perfect looking groove, a big upgrade from the original I think. And as someone who absolutely loves the solar frames, I'm glad to see there's a new version out there for Joe Ackerson specifically, this is so cool. Sonic Sports teased a new skate tool they're working on. They say it's specifically made for the Seabear and FR skates. From the list of features they have here, it seems like it's got everything covered. I can't wait to see the full release of this. Uh, apparently it's coming in fall 2020, so that's not far away, right? I don't know. <laughs> And we're finally talking about some skates. The Wizard Skates just got updated. Now I personally haven't been following the Wizard Skates much, so I don't really know about how much has changed, but apparently now there is more individual sizes, similar to what them's doing, I guess. And that seems to be thanks to Intuition Liners. So if you're in between sizes for Wizards, now's a good time to go check them out again. If you can somehow afford them though, that is. And that's it for product news. No it isn't, we've still got the coolest piece of product news and that is the fact that there is a clear skate that just came out and that is the Them Pro Skate for Danny Bear. It is absolutely beautiful. It is a perfect match for that sick Them line that they brought out. When I first saw the picture of this Pro Skate, I thought it was like a marble design skate. But I was like, how did they line up the design so perfectly? And then I realized it's a clear skate, which is absolutely insane and so cool. And I think a lot of people felt like that because this skate pre-order sold out within like 10 minutes. That's 1,000 pairs of skates in 10 minutes. That's absolutely insane. But I'm really not surprised because these things are so sick and unique. That's not the only cool thing about these skates though. They also introduced a new royalty plan that John has brought to them. And that is these skates give either 25 to 30 dollars royalty to the pro skater so danny bear gets 25 to 30 depending on where the skates are bought from per skate and if you do the math there they sold a thousand pairs 
Danny's doing all right, which I am so glad to hear. This is a well-deserved skate. Danny is such a unique and sick skater and these skates match him really well. Also, this is somewhat unrelated, but if you wanted to get some abs like Danny in this picture, a rollerblading channel called The Blading Physio has the perfect routine to help you out. You should check that out. I'll link that in the description in the corner. Okay, that's actually it for product news. So let's move on to my favorite part of the show, media you should check out. Starting off with a skit about finding the perfect rail. Just go watch this, it's funny as fuck. <laughs> we also got a couple new brief histories from Older Blader that I highly recommend. Uh, I'm gonna link to the one about 8-Ball, which I had no idea about, but I really love the idea. And it's something I would have never found out about if it wasn't for him. So definitely go follow him and check out his last few brief histories. And then we got a quick video of Chrissy skating her first ever street handrail. And why she's skating it in the dark is absolutely insane to me because I need every single thing to be perfect if I'm skating a handrail, especially my first one. Anyway, Hood Panda put together a really nice piece just capturing how much fun it is to go out and free skate. It's a really cool video for FR that I highly recommend checking out. If you're curious about the revolver wheels, I've got the perfect review for you here. It's another honest review. I love this style of reviews. They're really good. You should definitely check them out. USD posted a team edit and there's not much I can say about it other than the fact that it's just a really good edit. I got so pumped after watching this. I don't know if I'm going to say this name right, but Elite Yeath put together his first ever street edit and it's really cool and sick. I definitely recommend checking that one out as well. If you're still looking to get pumped up for your next skate, I've got a good edit for you here and it's a Dublin Jam and it features the longest nougat I've ever seen in my life and just a bunch of really ridiculous, insane skates they'll definitely get you pumped up for your next skate. And thanks to my Blade New submission forms, which you can fill out down below in the description, I got linked to this edit called Freak, which features some really cool skating. It's a nice street edit. The dude's skating a mini golf course in it, which is absolutely insane, something I've never seen before, and looks like a lot of fun, so you should definitely check that out as well. And for the few roller skaters that watch this, let me know if you are roller skating watching this show right now. You should comment. Uh, I've got a roller skating edit for you, which really blew my mind. Uh, it's Gary's Big 33 uh, and there's just a lot of insane skating there some really cool vert skating as well as some just crazy grinds roller skating is absolutely insane man <laughs> and finally I got a VOD for you to check out and that's John Bellino's VOD that just came out he's back and he is absolutely destroying it you need to cop this piece right now the ender is the most insane transfer I've ever seen in my life I just don't know how anyone can do that. It's just absolutely ridiculous. It's only five bucks. It's an absolute masterpiece and it's got some cool outtakes at the end. You should definitely go check it out. It'll be linked in the description. Because as always, links to absolutely everything I talked about today are in the description. I still somehow get comments of people asking for links to things when they're always in the description. So definitely look there. But yeah, that's it for Blade News. Remember, if you want to support the show, you can buy the official Blade News mug at my clothing store Lace or you can just subscribe. It helps just as much. But anyway, huge shout out to my Blade News correspondents, Ben and Matt, as well as the rest of my patrons and members, which is something I haven't mentioned in a while, but if you hit that join button next to the subscribe button, you can become a member today. I really couldn't do this without these guys, so thank you guys so much. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.